ரெண்டு பேர் மூணு பேர் ஏறிக்கணும் சரக்கு போகிறோம் குறுக்க வந்துடுறாங்க ஸோ சட்டு சட்டுனு பிரேக் அடித்து வண்டி ஓட்டுற மாதிரி இருக்குது இந்த மாதிரி ஆளுங்கள்லாம் பார்த்து அவங்களெல்லாம் பனிஷ்மெண்ட் கொடுத்தாக்க கொஞ்சம் நல்லாயிருக்கும் நாங்களும் கொஞ்சம் சேஃபாக ஓட்டணும் The Indian middle class dream of each family owning a home and a car is fast becoming a reality. While this is a matter of satisfaction, this has also led to an explosion in the number of private vehicles with more and more cars competing for limited road space. Adequate public transport system is not there. So people are forced to use uh, uh, private vehicles. Uh, Uh, while commuting from one place to another place uh, because of lack of uh, mass public transit system like uh, mumbai's commuter rail system romba vasta irukku road speed breaker paathinga gundum kuliyuma irukku pallam irukku odane speed breaker irukku adanalae nammala smooth ah drive panna mudiyala vandi adanalae romba damage agudhu service kudukka poninga na shock absorber seri illa brake poiduchu ipdiye solli ella service center liyum idhe dhaan solranga avlo vasta irukku indha road conditions ஹைவேஸில் மட்டும் இந்த லாங்கில் போகும்போது இந்த ஜங்ஷனில் வரும்போது இந்த நாலு ரோடு கிராஸ் ஆகிற இடத்துல தான் சார் எங்களுக்கு அது ஏன்னா அந்த இடத்துல ஒரு நைட்டில் ட்ராவல் பண்ணி போனால் ஒரு ஆறு நடிச்சு போகணும் இல்லைனாக்கா வண்டி ரைட்டில் வருதா லெஃப்டில் வரான்னு எங்களுக்கு தெரியாது A majority of two wheeler riders need to unlearn their old driving habits when they start driving cars. When we graduate from a two wheeler to a four wheeler, I think it's very important to relearn a lot of things. which is not happening happening very effectively i would say try not to be in competition with somebody else if i find him irritating i think okay maybe he's having a tough day how is it going to give me 5 minutes 5 second delay so let me not honk the huge demand for drivers licenses puts a tremendous pressure on the regional transport authorities limited infrastructure causing many cracks in the system drivers with limited knowledge of road rules and regulations and with only a few hours of formal learning manage to get licenses most of these drivers are quite illiterate when it comes to understanding road signages as well i have innumerable signboards and signals to inform caution and direct my users that can ensure their safety but rarely do they see or heed me my sign boards are of three types cautionary mandatory and informative if only they paid more attention to the signage many more lives would be saved license to drive or a license to kill a person in a car injury is likely to uh, sustain chest injuries pelvic injuries and limb injuries lower limb injuries so it varies essentially with the mechanism of injury and the type of the accidents that they meet with the ability to differentiate the red and the green light for the drivers is a very important aspect when there is a cataract in that particular driver when there is a excess flash of light the vision can drop from 100% to 10% in a fraction of a second and this is the cause of the accidents because of the sudden drop in the contrast sensitivity calm music in the car is of very loud or jing bang music which again pumps up your adrenaline flow instead of doing that if you can play like milder music and not very high volumes of music that's another prevention uh, that makes you calm couple of other things that do not have arguments in the car with whoever is driving with you your spouse or anybody else so you can always say that let's just get somewhere and then continue our discussion or argument that's and of course cell phones if you hear something really shocking when you're driving that can put everybody else in jeopardy so it's better that you can stall a little bit if you're riding a driving a four wheeler make sure you always use a seat belt especially when you're going on highways even if you're sitting as a passenger behind please wear a seat belt it will save your life many times in all these high speed injuries the person doesn't die the victim lives but he lives crippled throughout his life he cannot work he becomes disabled it's a problem for him for his family so prevention is very very important buses and commercial vehicles or trucks are the arteries of a healthy and vibrant transport system 
I must definitely mention the buses, the leviathans of the road. When they stop passengers to alight and get in, we end up waiting for them inordinately, the two wheelers and the four wheelers behind these buses. Given that the roads are very, very congested, it becomes very difficult for us to pass by. The drivers of these vehicles are mostly uneducated but skillful. Travels buses are not available. If you are not able to get a travel bus, travels bus are not available. If you are not able to get a travel bus, you are not able to get a travel bus. You are not able to get a travel bus. You are not able to get a travel bus. You are not able to get a travel bus. You are not able to get a travel bus. 40% of these drivers are above 55 years of age and suffer from declining night vision and hearing related problems. We have to create an awareness among the general public as well as the drivers that a regular testing of the vision and eyes with an ophthalmologist on a yearly basis even if it, they don't have any problem in the eye they have to go to an ophthalmologist and have the eyes checked up completely from A to Z to find out whether they have any evidence of cataract, glaucoma that is eye pressure, diaptic retinopathy if they are diaptic, any problem in the retina, the optic nerve because all these can affect the vision, the field of vision the contrast sensitivity, which is very, very important as far as the road safety is concerned. person who has made a mistake, an incident happened because of him, he should be called to the department, have a separate hall where all the accidents which have happened are screened and shown to them periodically for the next two or three days. His only job is to sit and watch so that in future he never thinks of being careless on the roads. <laughs> Although modern trucks and buses are engineered for safety, overloading is a major issue and considerably reduces the safety factor. It is necessary to create a consciousness among heavy vehicle drivers that they hold the lives of many road users in their hands. Drink driving has been identified as a major risk factor in road safety by the WHO. This has caused thousands of deaths and disability globally. In India too, drink driving is a major risk factor, particularly among car and truck drivers. The traffic police have systematically embarked on regular breath analyzer tests of drivers to check the incidence of drink driving. Drink driving is a punishable offense under Indian laws but more needs to be done by way of rigorous enforcement by officials. We can have the breath analysis at the toll when the driver stops for collecting a toll ticket. The breath analyzer gives a warning if the driver is drunk and if that is the case, the vehicle can be immediately made to park instead of flying further down. Can we make a beginning in compassion by allowing ambulances to pass through without loss of precious time? Who knows, the ambulance may be carrying a relative, a friend or an office colleague of yours. So, the ambulance is in the case of Asana. The road is going to be in the traffic. What are you doing in the traffic? I'm going to 
முன்னாடி போகிற வண்டி லெஃப்ட்டு ரைட்டு மாறி மாறி போகிறனால நாங்களும் அதில் மாறி மாறி வண்டி ஓட்ட வேண்டியா இருக்குது அவங்க வந்து எங்களுக்கு ஒரு சைடு லெஃப்ட் சைடில் போயிட்டு நாங்கள் ரைட் சைடில் ஓவர் டேக் பண்ணுற மாதிரி வழி கொடுத்தாங்கன்னா நாங்கள் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் கொஞ்சம் குயிக்காக போக முடியும் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு சிக்னலில் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுறாங்க சிக்னல் வந்து விழுந்தாலும் அவங்க என்ன பண்ணுறாங்க ஒரு ஆம்புலன்ஸ் ஒரு பதட்டத்தில் நடுவில் அப்படியே வண்டி நிறுத்திடுறாங்க அதனால் எங்களால் வந்து சிக்னலில் கரெக்டாக ரீச் ரீச் ஆக முடியல அதுக்குள்ளே ரெட் சிக்னல் விழுந்துருது எங்களுக்கு போகிறதுக்கு ரொம்ப கஷ்டமாக இருக்குது ஒரு ஆக்சிடெண்ட் நடந்துருச்சு அப்படின்னா விக்டிமை ரீச் பண்ணும்போது அங்கே என்ன பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த ஆக்சிடெண்ட்டை பார்க்குறதுக்காக பப்ளிக் என்ன பண்ணுறாங்க அந்த வெஹிக்கல்ஸ் எல்லாம் அங்கேயே நிறுத்திடுறாங்க அதனால் நாங்கள் ஆம்புலன்ஸை எட்டவே கொஞ்சம் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் தள்ளி போயிட்டு நிறுத்துறதுக்காக நாங்கள் விக்டிமை குயிக்காக ரீச் பண்ண முடியல விக்டிமை ரீச் ஆகி அவருக்கு என்ன இன்ஜுரி ஆயிருக்கு அப்படின்னு எங்கள் ஆம்புலன்ஸில் நிறைய எக்யூப்மெண்ட் இருக்குது அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு சில ஃபஸ்ட் எய்டு கொடுத்து தான் நாங்கள் ஆம்புலன்ஸை ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ண முடியும் பட் என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா நாங்கள் ஆம்புலன்ஸ் இருக்கு ஸ்ட்ரெச்சர் இருக்கு எங்கள் எமர்ஜென்சி டெக்னீஷியன் வந்து அவங்க விக்டிமுக்கு என்ன ஆயிடுச்சு அப்படின்னு பார்க்கறதுக்குள்ள அதுக்குள்ளே பேஷண்ட்டை ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ணிடுறாங்க அதனால் அவங்களுக்கு சரியான முறையில் எங்களுக்கு ஃபஸ்ட் எய்டு பண்ண முடியல அதனால் பப்ளிக் வந்து இந்த தவறுகளை செய்யாமல் எங்களுக்கு ஒரு நல்ல வழி செய்ய செய்யணும் பப்ளிக் கேட்டுரும் இஃப் யூ சி அன் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ஆன் த ரோட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ த ஃபாலோயிங் பேசிக் திங்ஸ் நம்பர் ஒன் டோன்ட் டேர்ன் திஸ் வே அண்ட் சே ஐ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் டைம் ஐ டோன்ட் கெட் இன்வால்வ் வித் போலீஸ் கேஸ் எக்ஸெட்ரா இட் இஸ் ஹியூமன் டு ஹெல்ப் தட் பர்சன் வித் அன் இன்ஜுரி வில் பி வெரி தேர்ஸ்டி பிகாஸ் தெர் இஸ் பிளட் லாஸ் டோன்ட் கிவ் எனிதிங் டு ட்ரிங்க் many a times they may need an emergency surgery and an empty stomach is very essential for surgery don't make him sit up bundle him in a two wheeler or a three wheeler or a four wheeler and go because you do not know whether he has an injury to the back if he has had a spine injury an injury to the back you make him sit up a person with a normal leg can become completely paralyzed the government needs to formulate an effective action program with the help of road safety experts and enforcement officials to achieve a significant reduction in road accidents and consequent loss of lives so what's the way forward after the zero growth vision we should take efforts to reduce the accidents by 20% within the next 3 years to affect such a type of a decrease in accidents we need to identify trust areas and for each trust areas we have to work our targets for example over speeding which accounts for 50% of our accidents on highways should be considered as a trust area and within the next 3 years we should bring down the incidents of over speeding by 40%. In the same way, drunken driving, which account for 50,000 fatalities or injuries, head-on injury, 10,000 fatalities, hit-and-run cases, 30,000 fatalities, safety helmet for motorized two-wheelers. What you need in the country is to establish a statutory authority called Road Safety Authority, which should have adequate legal and financial powers and this such authorities should be set up at the center and state levels this authority should work out the road safety plan in a comprehensive manner and implement the schemes with a time bound program people generally think accidents do not happen to them but The accidents can happen to anybody at any time at any place. Road safety begins with each and every one of us. If we cannot take responsibility for our lives and safety, we cannot expect others to do so. In a civilized society, we need to care for others' lives as well. An appropriate ecosystem with a road safety action plan that integrates the above factors must be put in place to ensure that the number of fatal road accidents decline every year and precious lives are saved india has the distinction of being the youngest country in the world with almost 65% of its population between the ages of 10 and 40 however is it not a matter of shame that india loses so many of its youth every year in road accidents shattering their dreams and hopes road users need to understand the four e's of road safety